He got caught because of us. So bad. Return to Professor Fig's classroom. Someone's brewing potions in here, dude. Well, aren't we the loveliest of them all? And I don't say things I don't mean. Akio. Levio, sir. Professor Fit. Oh, let's say wait. I don't know. Tomes and tribulations. You cannot be serious. Goblins working with Rookwood makes no sense. It is rather unorthodox, to say the least. Unorthodox. It's inconceivable. It's ah, Fig. You have a visitor. I'll see what I can find out. Hmm. Sir, I was able to search the restricted section while you were with Professor Black. It was a book we were after. Indeed. What? That's... Wait. You accessed the restricted section? But how? Thinking on it, perhaps it's best you spare me the details. Fair enough. In fact, the book was below the restricted section, as it appeared on the map. I want to hear everything. First, let's have a look. Oh. Oh, dear. Some of these pages seem to be missing. It appears someone has got to the book before us. Still... I will need time to study what remains. Perhaps we can still salvage something useful, though it may take some time. I wonder why it was here, below Hogwarts. I think I know, sir. I saw two more memories where I found the book. Another pensive, Godric's heart. The man we saw before, Percival Rackham, was a professor here. The first memory showed him and three other professors using ancient magic to restore a hamlet from a drought. Miriam was right. And the second memory? They were talking to a student who started as a fifth year, like I did. She could see traces of magic too. Why those memories? Hmm, perhaps this book will explain. Now I'll have to take it with me to London. The headmaster has insisted that I speak directly to the minister about George's death. What will you tell them about Mr. Osric's death? I don't know how much I dare say. George tried to convince the Ministry about Ranrock, but to no avail. My instinct is to follow the path we are on for the moment and keep the details to ourselves until we know more. I Agreed. understand. I'll see what I can learn about the missing pages while you're gone. Good. Don't neglect your studies. Your wand work is improving by the day. But you'll want to pay attention in herbology and potions. There's more to magic than spell casting. Plenty to keep me occupied while you're gone. You've done exceptionally well. I look forward to seeing all that you've accomplished when I return. Oh, yes. and don't neglect your friends. You may be surprised by how much you can learn from them as well. Hey, you're right. I learned this. Ta-da! Level 11! Wait, did I have that before? I don't think so. Right, challenges. Quest. Legendary cape.
could be quite cool. Where do I go to get all this stuff? I have in gear. I haven't seen. Oh, outfits. Rustic garb. Whoa. Wait. What? Oh, this is just what I wear without. Okay. I think I prefer my vest, even though it doesn't give me any defense. Meet me in Lower Hogsfield as soon as possible. I would like to talk to you about Rookwood and Harlow, and it might be best to do so outside of the castle. But how does she know? It's time to prove your dueling metal and see if we've a new school champion. Meet me at the usual place for the final round of Crossed Wands. Also, the training dummy is still available. Nice. Professor Fig and oh Weasley have asked that I teach you an additional defensive spell. Please complete the assignments I have given you, and then proceed to see me in my classroom. Wow. Lots of stuff. Maddie just sent you an outpost requesting to meet her in Lower Hogsfield, a hamlet. Switch to the world map, or select the world map button to switch to the world map. Oh, wow. Wow, it's actually really big. I didn't think that the map was this big. I was I was kind of sad that it was so small. <laughs> this is the Hamlet Lower Hogsfield. <sighs> Hamlets provide new opportunities for vendors, food flames, side quests, and collectibles. Nice. As you explore, you'll remove fog and reveal more of the map, unveiling new opportunities like hamlets, dungeons, bandit camps, and many other locations. Oh, how have I not collected this one yet? Rebellio. Augury Skeleton. This is a skeleton of an Irish phoenix or augury, an intensely shy bird who can forecast the coming of rain and whose mournful cry was once believed to foretell death. I want to go first to my... Is it in here? The common room? Uh, southern common room. Um, which way is it to the room? Is it it's in here, right? And then mine is the first one to the left. I have like a wardrobe or something? Owl. Read mail. Oh, these are the. Okay. Okay. Um. Wow, there are a lot. Okay. Um. Wow. Uh, what should we do? Maybe I'll do this one. Talk to Luke and Bradleby. Ah, oh, these annoy me so much. I need all the exclamation points to be gone. The game's actually huge. You'll love to see it. Hey, a new side quest. Is that up this way? Can I go up here? Revelio. I 
that up here? Apple. Oh. What is this? Those nuts? Okay, so there's nothing up here. Might as well fast travel. Um, are there any flu flames in this area that I have? Ew. All right, Major Lucan. Um, wait. Oh. Hello, Lucan. I'd like to practice with the training dummy. Excellent idea. This time will be a bit more of a challenge. Ready? Yes. That'll be brilliant. Wonderful. I'll set things up. Remember to cast all the spell combinations before the dummy lands again. Okay. If you need to stop practicing before you finish all of them, let me know. Aye aye. Sounds like a plan. Akio! Potato! Oops. Wrong one. My bad. Let go of the button? Okay. I got it. Ready? Three, two. Akio! Incendio! Leviosa! Excellent four! Great. Sharp. Sharp. Alright. Accio. Incendio. Ooh. That's nice. Good one. Accio. Incendio. Let me also. Accio. Incendio. I'm gross. Actually, these combos are actually nasty. Impressive wand work. I take to face you in a duel. Thanks, Lucan. You've been a great help. Oh, stop. Don't make me blush. Seriously, well done. Training dummies will think twice before challenging you again. Plus, you'll be even more formidable in crossed wands. Other jewels had better beware. All right. Or XP. All right. I might Hello, as well Lucan. do the other one while I'm here. Is the final mm -hmm. round of cross ones ready? Big match today. It all comes down to this: the moment that we find out if your training and dedication is enough to win it all. Ready for a shot at glory? Yes. I certainly am. Brilliant. Let's do it. Are you dealing with a partner? Um. No. I'll go it alone. Then let's get started. We can make this a real victory. That's the spirit. Four of them. All right. Break the red shields with damage spells like the fire making spell incendio. Target lock. Let's you track enemies without aiming. Okay. I'm ready now. All right. Very well. Good luck out there. Let's go again. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. I don't like the, the loss. 
Oh my god, I'm not... Protego. Dude. Stupid one. Stupid one. Incendio. Confundo. Oh my gosh. Levioso. Levioso. Protego. Confundo. Levioso. Incendio. No. Again, dude. <laughs> I'm losing it. Care to try again? Yes, I'm ready. All right, now. let's try again. Very well. Good luck out there. Uh, I just forget what spells I have. Okay, maybe I do need to lock. Okay. Fringo. Incendio. Accio. Levioso. Incendio. Accio. Levioso. Protego. Come on. Accio. Incendio. Fuck, dude. Okay, we're gonna do this again. Care to try again? Yes, I'm ready. Dude, now. I got so close. Well. Good luck out there. I was on a roll for a second. Okay. All right, let's try this again. Holy shit. Okay. Protego. Incendio. Accio. Levioso. Infringo. Protego. Infringo. Accio. Protego. Levioso. Incendio. Accio. <laughs> Dude. Yes. Yes, I'm ready now. Very well. Good luck out there. Okay. <laughs> Got it. Incendio. Accio. Levioso. Is that all you've got? Can Fringo. Protego. Fringo. Can Fringo. Incendio. Dog. Do I just need to hold it? I think I just need to hold it. Okay, let's try again. Let's try again. Jesus Christ. Yes, I'm ready now. Very well. Good luck out there. <sighs> so much to be able to, or so much to keep track of. Okay. Incendio. Accio. No. Levioso. Levioso. Come on! 
Incendio. Incendio. Accio. Protego. Levioso. Accio. Incendio. Incendio. Yes. Yes, I'm ready now. <laughs> Very well. Good luck out there. Okay. Okay. Got it this time. Good. Okay, let's go. Incendio. Oh, come here, bitch. Accio. Protect. Why? I'm not use it on their mother's stun. Or I can't use spells on their mother's stun. Then I guess. Accio. Incendio. Incendio. That's one. Accio. Potato. Incendio. Levioso. Accio. No! Dude! Care to try again? Yes, I'm ready now. Very well. Good luck out there. <laughs> I'm gonna be here all day. Okay. Try again. Incendio. Levioso. Why? Protego. Accio. There goes my wager. Potato. Act like a winner. Hello? Incendio. Care to try again? Yes, I'm ready now. Very well. Good luck. I'm gonna do there. this until I get it. I don't care. Okay. Levioso. Levioso. Twelve tries. What a victory! You've won the tournament. 
That was nothing. I'm just getting started. If the best duelists in the school weren't enough competition, then perhaps you should consider transferring to Dernstrang. Now, to the victor goes the prize! Yay! And so it is my great honor to present you with this simple yet elegant token of supreme dueling accomplishment! Thank you. It's been an honor. You earned it! You are a duelist oh to be reckoned with! Now that we've definitively crowned the tournament winner, I suppose I should get back to my schoolwork. Wonder how my herbology plants are doing. I haven't tended them in ages. <sighs> yes. That is 100% the hardest thing I've ever done in this game. <clears throat> Next quest. Um, look at this key in the tower. I can fast travel there. Uh, me tower. Find the Dedalian key. A Dedalian key? I wonder where it might lead me. Follow it. Keep going. What are you up to now? There's the cabinet. How do I get this key in there? Oh. Am I supposed to wait until it gets to like the the middle? Nelly knows what it means. Nelly! How far is this? 82 meters? Or is it meters? I don't even know if it's meters. Steps. We'll run it. Why not? That ghost is still sitting there, dude. Wow, this is a long run. I should have just... Oh uh, yeah, I definitely should have just just taken the flu flame down here. Holy shit! This is the farthest run of my life. Wow, I was not expecting it to be this far, dude. <laughs> I'm still going. Nelly, hello, Nelly. Were you able to follow one of the Dedalian keys? I was. Hello, Nelly. I managed to get a Dedalian key into its lock. Brilliant. What did you find in the cabinet? A curious token of some sort. Looks like some sort of house token. I bet it unlocks house chests. Mm. I call them house chests. I've seen the one in Gryffindor and heard they're also in the other common rooms as well. Keep an eye out. Mm. Okay. I do hope you continue mm -hmm. on. For so much effort, the prize to must your be something house grand. Chest. I should see this through and find the Slytherin house chest. Okay. Oh, wrong way. Hmm, that's this must okay. Seems I'll need to find more house tokens if I'm to open this. Oh. Quite a few by the look of it. Oh, wow. I have to fill that whole top area. Okay. Find the remaining house tokens that are around Hogwarts. Holy shit. Okay. I guess I'll have to put that on hold for now. The Dedalian Keys. Um, Expelliarmus. I'm gonna do this. And then I'll go to the herbo Herbology class, or whatever it's called. Get another spell, and then I'll go into the, the hidden herb, herb, herb area, or whatever. Whatever it was, I don't remember what it was. Blue flame. Uh, you, my young friend. Hello.
We're all wizards, but riding with feathers. Take the pencil right for you. Or feather right for you. I hope you were able to take care of everything I had asked you to do. Professor, I completed all of your most recent assignments. Well done. Then you're ready to learn Expelliarmus. Pay close attention. The disarming charm may often be all you need to defeat the most powerful dark witches and wizards you might encounter. Okay. Spell casting requires a focused mind and a steady wand. Expelliarmus. Good work. The dummy is here if you wish to stay in practice. Um... What is it? Expelliarmus. You seem to have the right end of the stick, but keep practicing. Expelliarmus well, may save your life one day. Disarms wands or under weapon other weapons out of enemies' hands. Different types of enemies will react in different ways when disarmed. Oh, nice. Okay. Perfect. Okay. So that was that. I think that's done now, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's go to herbology class. Herbology. Oh my god, it's far. Flu flame! <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, I don't have any in this area. Uh... Oh. What's this? I really have made a mess of things. Let me open. Wait, I heard one of those things. Where is it? I wonder how we'd get into Black's office. Not that I'd want to go in, mind you. But not that he's there. Where did it go? Ah, found it. Right, where are we going? We're going to see who can stay out the latest. This way. Okay. Okay. Yes, sir. Another house token. I'll take that. Appreciate it. I'll talk to this, this girl really quick. Oh dear. Cressida Bloom. Is everything all right? Oh, hello. Thank you for asking. I'm Cressida, by the way. And I'm afraid everything's not all right. I may be in a spot of trouble with the librarian. You see, I'm fond of creating my own charms. Thought I'd perfected my light as a feather charm to use on my library books. My arms get so tired carrying them around all day. But I must have confused the Latin word for feather with bird in my incantation. Because when I opened my bag just now in the library, they literally took flight. <laughs> That sounds a rather complicated way to simply avoid carrying your books. Possibly. But where's the fun in simplicity? New charms and spells have to come from someone. Why not me? I'd collect the books and remove the charm myself. Except this isn't the first time one of my charms has threatened the peace of the library. <laughs> Our meat told Madame Scribner they were my books flying around. So she said that if Sedge. I caused her any more trouble, she'd write to my parents. Perhaps you could get them for me. There are only five. She won't be suspicious of a new student looking around. Why did Army tell Madame Scribner that they were your books? Oh, to be perfectly honest, I don't think he meant any harm. I think he was impressed, bragging on my behalf. Army spends a lot of time gazing at the stars, but he knows a good charm when he sees one. Oh, nice I suppose him. I could help if I have the time. Oh, I'd very much appreciate it. One of the books is my diary. I'd rather it not fall into the wrong hands. If you could collect them and bring I'm gonna them read to it. me, I can remove the charm. Seems like a task for Akio. A 
Alright. Herbology class. Oh, I've Revenue. never been in this area before. Hey, Path. Greenhouse tree. Situated at the center of a Hogwarts greenhouse, this giant tree has a system of roots as deep reaching and convoluted as the school's dungeons. Beautiful. I need to learn that. I need to learn that spell. Ooh, what's up here? Ooh, is this free stuff? <gasps> yes, it is. More free stuff. Oh my god, more free stuff. Alright, what else is there? I always forget you can jump in this game. I need to learn how to brew potions. I need some Wigan Weld potions. I'm assuming this is where I'm gonna learn. Because, I don't know, I, I think it would just make sense. Good morning, Professor Garlic. How wonderful it is to see you again, Lenora dear. Oh, here. You'll need these for today's class. Uh, um, uh, a little watch. treat for your auntie. Ah, oh, hello. Class, please welcome the newest rose in our garden. <laughs> I've already met like we half of them. We look forward to growing together. How thrilling it is to have everyone back together again. This year will be filled with enchantment and excitement, but the most important thing cultivated in herbology is knowledge. knowledge. The prudent herbologist is no more afraid of the venomous tentacular than the bouncing bowl. That looks scary. Now then, today we oh, will be acquainting one. ourselves with the mellifluous tuber right known as the mandrake root. Accio. Let's see if we can't make our fibrous friends a bit more comfortable, shall we? <laughs> First, let's protect our ears. Hmm. Now, everyone, grip their mandrake by the tendrils and give it a firm tug. That was so weird. Envelop the root like a warm, dirty blanket, putting the mandrake right at ease. Repair. I'm very sorry about that. Yours was a bit mature, I'm afraid. All right then, off you go. Splendid work, everyone. <laughs> Dude, what the? Now, for our next task, we'll be planting dittany. Hmm. I wonder if hippogriffs like knotgrass. Yes, Professor. Firstly, well done with your mandrake. They can be rather difficult to get a grasp of. I'll say. I nearly went deaf. Well, yes. Of course, the cry of a mature mandragora can be fatal. So remember to keep those ears protected. Now, as I mentioned, next we'll be planting dittany. Let us find you some seeds. I already have some, Professor. Pick them up in Hogsmeade. You visited the Magic Neep. Wonderful. A prepared student is bound to bloom. You know me. I've arranged for you to have your own potting table here in the classroom. Wasn't easy to spare one on such late notice. Plant the seeds there now, and you can return to harvest them later. Even with soil, sunlight, and a bit of magic, they will take time to grow. 
Let's see how to balance my star thistle arrangement. And didn't he see at the potting table? This means restorative properties make it a vital ingredient in the Wiganweld potion, as you all should know from Professor Sharp's class. Ten minutes for five. Okay. Okay, fertilizer by conjuring a dung composter. Well done! Hmm. Once it can be harvested, your destiny will be ready to use in Wiganweld potion. I'll let Professor Sharp tell you about that. Hmm. Now, what say we branch out? Introduce you to a different sort of flora, the Chinese chomping cabbage. You'll find that some plants are better suited to uses outside of a cauldron. The cabbages do get testy without something to chew. Fortunately, I have a dummy for them to gnaw on. Dear, dear, and let them have a good chomping. Yes, Professor. They're in the other greenhouse. Dude, what? It's just at the end of the footbridge leading out of this room. Your classmate, Mr. Pruitt, has kindly offered to accompany you. Come back and see me when you're finished. Oh, and mind your fingers. They do bite. Oh, yeah, be careful. They bite. Hello. Dude. Saw you on your way to Hogsmeade the other day. Nice to meet you. I'm Leander. I'll be showing you the Chinese chomping cabbages. Up these stairs will take us there. That's the guy that got hit with the Levioso potion or spell in Miss Hackett's class. Nice work in defense against the dark arts, by the way. Excuse me. Your duel with Sebastian, and he's good. <laughs> Thinks he's really good, but you outright. Here we are, home of the Chinese chomp. Now, see that dummy? Just toss the cabbages at it, and they'll do the rest. Revelio. A paper. Dirigible plums. This orange radish like fruit floats upside down as it grows. Some believe it can enhance one's ability to accept the extraordinary. Interesting. Ooh, I wonder what's in there. I can't wait to get that charm. Alright. Tool wheel. The cabbages? And tap to the oh look at that. They'll chomp on anything they can get their uh, mouths on. <laughs> Mum planted some in her garden last year to keep wow. the gnomes out. Did save her the de gnoming, but they left her honking daffodils in tatters. <laughs> Vicious little bastards, aren't they? My kind of plants. Not like stupid booba tubers and bouncing bulbs. The kind of plants that just have your back in a fight. Dude, not British accents are alone, so great. But well, imagine that wasn't a dummy. I suppose they could prove useful outside of the greenhouse. Nothing wrong with a bit of backup, even if it is from a cabbage. It's chaos out there. Trolls in Hogsmeade and such. You can't be above throwing a cruciferous vegetable if necessary. <laughs> Dogweed and Deathcap has more of them, if you're keen. Other plants too. If you're keen? Ones your parents wouldn't plant in the garden. You get the idea. Anyway, we uh, probably ought to head back to class. Oh Take God. your time. I'll see you back in class. We're up. Return to Professor Garlic. Here I come, <laughs> Professor Garlic. Off on another Garlic. adventure, are we? As much didn't as I can get. What is this? A recipe for what? Edoras potion. And with that helpful reminder as to why we should always wear our dragon hide gloves, oh, wait. I shall end our lesson here. I think Terribly sorry, Mr. Clopton. Six minutes. I tended to the Chinese chomping cabbages, Professor. Remarkable plants, aren't they? I hope they weren't too much trouble. Oh, don't see any bite marks or missing digits. And good, as you do seem to be quite green-fingered. Oh, I'm eager to see your skill in the I'm soil Slytherin. continue to blossom. Magical plants have so much to offer. I'm eager to learn more. I'm glad. Herbology is a bounteous subject. Tend to your garden, and it will tend to you. Huh. Well, I suppose that's everything. Do come by for a chat sometime. I so enjoy checking in with my new students. Relishing their new pots. 
only cost me my damned hearing. Like anything, but we must first understand it. But Five minutes. Uh, ooh, potions class. I should definitely go do that. Kindness and concern are as necessary in the greenhouse as in the great. Potions class. My entire house. Handling Shouldn't there be all another blue player? Someone from the ministry guarding the school after the Professor Black. Revelio. Never allowed. It would make him look completely incompetent, which he is. One of those keys. Come on. Yes, sir. Another house token. As two. Oh, can't we go in there? I need a al Aloha Mora or whatever it's called. Aloha Mora Mora. I don't. I don't know what it's called. <laughs> oh, actually. Gear. Got some new gloves. New outfit too. Do I, do I need this robe on? I guess I can just mismatch for now. These not the, these are the exact same glasses. Uh, okay. Again. This um potions is one of the Sharp. most challenging and hazardous subjects taught at this school. As fifth years, you will be required to reach new heights of both discipline and intellect. You will begin this term by brewing a Wigan Weld potion. Nice. Mr. Takar. Can you tell us why this particular potion might come in handy? Yes, Professor Sharp. The Wigan Weld potion can be used to sterilize and even heal a variety of injuries. It can heal some injuries, but not all. Points for Ravenclaw. Before today's class is completed, each of you will have brewed a Wigan Weld potion of your own. You never know when you might need it. Please begin. <laughs> no directions? Oh. Use a strong, even motion when crushing your ingredients. Please be meticulous when adding powder to your potions. One errant sneeze could be disastrous. Thank lemon juice. Stir my cauldron. Making potions. I should really like how they put this game together, like how you learn stuff. I see most of you have not forgotten how to stir. Not an easy potion to brew. Well done. And from what I hear of your recent exploits in Hogsmeade, you'd also do well to practice brewing the defensive Edurus potion. Professor Weasley had you acquire the recipe from Jay Pippins, correct? Yes, sir. Good. For the moment, you can find the ingredients you need in my office. 
but in the future you'll be expected to provide your own ingredients. All right. Some can be harvested from the plants you grow in your herbology class, and rarer ones can be purchased. Others, however, may be harder to obtain, and will require you to be a bit more resourceful. Come and see me when you've finished brewing, and we'll see if it was skill or luck the first time around. You trust, I'm just better. My parents considered keeping me home from school. Rebellion! After the rumors of a goblin rebellion. Is there anything in here that I can... What is that? Okay. Did I hear Professor Sharp say that you have permission to go into his office? He did say that. He wants me to get more ingredients to brew another potion. Brilliant! You, my friend, have been presented with an extraordinary opportunity. I'm Gareth, by the way. Gareth Weasley. Bit of a prodigy with Weasley. potions, if I do say so myself. Pleasure to meet you. Wait, are you related to Professor Weasley? She's my aunt. Keeps too close an eye on me for comfort. Ugh. But she can't be everywhere. Listen, anyone with a troll-sized brain can brew an Ajurus potion. I'm working on something that's certain to be spectacular. I'm just missing one tiny last ingredient that will add that extra spark. Yeah, right. I suspect that's where I come in. You're as clever as I'd hoped. I simply need a single Fwooper feather. As you'll already Fwooper. be in Sharp's office with his permission, perhaps you could grab it for me. <laughs> yeah, why not? I'll get you the Fwooper feather, as long as you're certain Sharp won't miss it. I assure you he won't. Fwooper feathers aren't that valuable. Wait until you see what I'm brewing. Hurry back to me when you have the feather. I shouldn't have done that. Oh god. Your potion should not be that hard. Uh. Oh, no. Memorandum. Or yeah. Date 31st of December 1875 from Aura Office. Subject Borg Borgin and Burks. Borgin and Burks has had an increased amount of activity outside of ordinary shop hours. Particularly in the wee hours of the night with suspicious deliveries being made to the shop's back entrance. Given what we know of the shop's reputation, we are adding more orders to join those that have already been watching the shop. You are amongst the new additions. Further instruction to follow. Hmm. Revelio. Interesting. Most interesting. Remember, precision is key when brewing. Here's the fwapper feather you wanted. Brilliant! Thank you! This is going to take a moment to brew. You should get back to brewing your Endurus potion, and I'll tell you when this concoction's finished. I wonder what it is. Proficiency in potions are two things that cannot be rushed. Have patience uh, brew and be thorough. And right, brew this. One bottle. And now we add the mallow sweet, and that's odd. What's happening? Wait, it's not supposed to. Ah! Dragon Duck! What happened? <laughs> well done, Gareth. Revelio. What now, Mr. Weasley? Sorry, Professor. That'll be points from Gryffindor. Again. Mr. Weasley did not do this on his own. His accomplice will answer to me as well. Oh god, really? Oh, I knew I knew that was gonna happen too. I knew he was gonna screw that up. Uh so unfortunate. Alright, I'll brew this last one and then we'll go talk to Mr. Sharp. What does that potion even do? Uh it enhances drinkers' defense by covering them with a durable rocky skin. Interesting. Dude, it's literally cooking itself. Or brewing itself. It's actually so cool. Alright. Uh, hello. I brewed an Adurus potion as you asked, Professor. I'm surprised you had the time. You seemed rather busy helping Mr. Weasley brew chaos. I'm sorry, Professor. I was merely trying to help a friend. Taking responsibility for one's actions does go a long way with me. I shall assume that you've learned a lesson. As for the work you did. did today at your own cauldron, I will say you've done well. 
I confess I was skeptical given the advanced nature of this class and the fact you're a new student. I'm glad I was able to meet your expectations. A rare occurrence. And you do well to remember that you're not a potions master quite yet. In addition to having a solid grasp I of how to combine to <laughs> various ingredients, I you should gain an understanding of the ingredients themselves. Pay particular attention in herbology. The plants you nurture there are often essential to the potions you brew here. Now, I aye recommend aye. that you find a safe location in which to practice brewing. You cannot leave a hot cauldron simply anywhere. That'll be all. Hmm. Okay. I think each of us has had enough excitement for one day. Class is dismissed. I didn't get any seeds. Wait, where? Where do I exit? Like this way? Oh. Yeah, it is. Oh, my robes are going to reap from okay. this. Inspiration Ooh, what's this for the rest of the Wait, is that 